Hola amigos, it's Will here at Will's Custom Figures coming at you today with a big bad breakdown of the one, the only, the king of wrestling, Carl Gotch. So guys, sit back, relax while I talk you through why and how I made this and everything else in between. So let's start by the why. I had a fantastic and really, really friendly customer of mine reach out to me and ask me to work on uh, who he felt was one of the most deserving professional wrestlers in the history of the fantastic sport um, that hasn't had his very own wrestling figure, not at least that we are both aware of. So he reached out to me, asked me to work on this for him, and I'm really pleased with how it's turned out. So um, a little bit about Carl Gotch. Um, this guy was Belgian born. Is the crazy Wiley Coyote cam. Um, and as you can see, I've done a really, really thorough job of trying to capture, capture his likeness. He's a little bit Finn Balor-esque in the face, if you ask me. Um, and this is a completely custom head sculpt made 100% from clay. I'm going to uh, just zoom in on that for you. You can notice all the little subtle details, like on the moustache and everything else. But... Um, he was the master of the power driver, to my understanding. I haven't watched too many matches of Cole Gotch, but the guy is well-renowned and well-respected within the world of professional wrestling to this day, which to me is testament to you know, his, his fantastic career and clearly his body of work. The matches that I have seen have always been very, very competitive and I've really enjoyed. So it was a pleasure to work on such a legend. Um, now... Let's get you into all the nitty gritty. So, Carl Gotch, he stands, I would say, around about seven inches tall, just under six and three quarter inches. I made him using, sorry for the, the bad lighting here. Let me just change my, my camera and my lighting around. So, he stands, like I say, six and three quarter inches tall. And I used a Bruno Sammartino as a base here. Um, I had to simplify things, take a lot of it back to the actual absolute raw basics, um, repainting the whole figure from head to toe. There are always going to be little small imperfections with a custom wrestling figure, but time is money and I wanted to invest a lot of my time with this guy into the head sculpt. So I'm going to give you another quick close up here of the head. Let's just zoom in on that. Here we go, a bit of a close-up. Used a gloss on the eyes, on, on the lips, to try and get that more realistic look. The hair, all 100% freshly sculpted, using uh, a bunch of my lovely stainless steel tools from Amazon. Now, um, a lot of people ask me with custom figures how to do body hair. The one thing I would say about body hair is get a crappy old brush. So I've got an example here. This is probably not going to be good for painting a figure that's this detailed. Get your colour, maybe the same colour that you've done the hair with. Get it all off. So dab it as much as you can. Get as much off. And then what you can do is you can put a small drop of water, dip it in just finely, maybe dab it against something else or your hand, and then apply as a dry brush and the technique that I would use is very similar to this just like that and then have another dry brush this one here by just to undab some of the dab <laughs> so a lot of dab in there however that does get that nice chest hair effect that you can see here now quite a simple wrestling design as far as the outfit is concerned however I wanted to capture all the parts of Carl Gotch that make Carl Gotch, Carl Gotch. And I think that is the no-nonsense attitude and the simplified outfit, the simplified attire. He has full elite posability, as you would expect. I'm not going to do it on here, though, just at the risk of any kind of damage to the paintwork. And sorry for the, the poor camera angle just there, guys. I'm just going to fix that very quickly. I had an issue with my camera and the stand that it goes on so final reflections i've absolutely loved working on this guy what an absolute pleasure to do a bit of a history lesson and to learn something new uh, from a business that i have spent the best part of 20 years following i'm really really happy with how he turned out i did a recent review of a jeff hardy custom that i made so here he is you can't get much more charismatic than Jeff Hardy himself. So as you can see, he stands very nicely next to Carl Gotch. Guys, if you've got any questions, please let me know. If you want one of your own, 
please feel free to get in touch as well. Like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Facebook, Instagram, and get in touch if you like what you see. And thank you for tuning in. And until next time, guys, peace.